Morning YouTube, it's Christy Nitro from the fabulous Las Vegas area. I have a collective haul. This is my day off. I'm gonna pump out some videos. I need to do that tag. I got tagged. I'm actually kind of excited to do it. I haven't done a face-to-face -face in like way over a year. Let's get into it. First, I got an itty bitty little teeny tiny, I'm talking microscopic uh, haul from work. You guys know it is Michael's. I love the new $1.50 bins. Whoop! They are so cute. I think it's better than Target. I hate their selection at Target. I still got a lot of stuff. You'll see that. Anyway. All right. They did this for me. Awesome. I taught a class where we made uh, these bigger succulents. Um, cut them out, glue them together, did the dyes, basically made them look like this to fit inside a photo frame. Two hour class. It took the entire two hours to do. So I was so happy to pick these up. You have no idea. It's awesome to make it yourself, but sometimes it's just good to have things on hand as well. Let's face it, we all deserve to be a little bit lazy now and again. This pen, I, I love decorative pens. You can see my little cacti one in the background. Got ones for holidays. You know how it is. Way too many decorative pens. I should have left this one behind, but I was like, it's an ice cream cone. I got nothing like it. It's it's just decorative. It honestly stinks as a pen. I tried, it's scratchy, it's weird. I, It's a decorative piece, I don't know. I don't know, I thought I'd try it. And lastly, I got exactly what you'll see in here, the Fantastics. All right, as I open it, I'm gonna read the back for you. Use for all your shading and coloring projects. Wow, that's so descriptive, really? Well, let me do a better job. These guys, if you are into adult coloring, mixed media, just coloring in general, and you need a little extra help, kind of like if you've ever used graphite pencils, which I'm sure we all have, and you got the blending nibs to help blend it out, that's exactly what these are for. You can see you got the two different nibs there. They're just little sponges, so they pick up whatever color and transfer it onto your paper, just like any other kind of helpful tool like this. However, they are hard to keep clean, hence why I keep buying more. <laughs> I've been using them since college and I I like them. I like them a lot. So, yes, let's see, um, how much are these bad boys? I want to say like $4 and then I used a coupon, so $2. Not bad. Again, keep in mind you cannot clean them, but they are a helpful little tool to have. Getting into Hobby Lobby, I know what you're thinking, no judgment. I told you, I do not want to shop at Hobby Lobby anymore. I watched them like a hawk to make sure I got my deals. And I went because their clocks were 50% off and that was the main thing why I went for. I have a huge weakness for huge Roman numeral clocks and they have them for really cheap. So, score on that. While I was there, I found my new favorite corner rounder. Yes, it's about time. Before I get into it, let me show you the ones I have and have been working with. So this is the Becky Higgins Project Life Corner Rounder. I like it because it, you know, keeps the things in there. However, out of the four corners that you are going to round, one of them will get messed up with this. Guaranteed. So save your money, skip that one. The classic, the Martha Stewart, I've had this one probably since I started crafting. I like it, it does the job well, however, it's bulky. You see that? It is, it is big. It is a big corner rounder. So I thought I'd give this one a go. Use my coupon on it, so what, 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 how much was it? It was $4.19. Okay. That's cool. And it's my favorite. So if you want to know, I got the large and there's another one for small. So this has got to be what the small punch does. And then I punch the receipt. I've been using this like crazy. So far, no mess ups. Let me try to line it up as best I can. So that's the large. You see the difference? Do not mind the extreme close up of my draw fingers. But large punch, small punch. So I will get the small one eventually because this is my new fave. And it was the cheapest one. Can you believe that? Who knew? All right. Then while I was there, I noticed that the Sizzix uh, dyes and storage and all that other stuff was, I believe, 30 or 40 off. Either way, it was on sale. You know, this stuff hardly ever goes on sale. Look, storage envelopes for $7. 
you only get three of them. I don't know why I was thinking you get six of the envelopes. I must have been like the expo or something where I got more. But I use them for just what you see there. Uh, putting stamps that the, you know, the packaging busted or little dies and stamps that stick together. And inside this one here, I am keeping the new die to my collection, which is the frame lights for the Insta stacks. So you get, you know, just the framelit itself for the picture and then all the different words you can put in there. I thought that was cute. Originally $9.99, not bad for how many dies you get? I don't know, a bunch. <laughs> I cut off the rest of it to fit in here. Um, yeah, that was Hobby Lobby. Not too much, and I watched them. So, and I found a cool corner rounder. All right, so that was Hobby Lobby. Let me get my other punches out of the way here. Finally, Joann's. Again, it's been a few months since I went to Joann's, and I really want to go back and see if they had the, the Miss Sparkle and Company. So I went there, and I got a little guillotine style. Oh, here, let me put you down. Sorry. Going for a ride. There we go. Now it's going to make more sense. I got the little guillotine cutter. This is the little small one. I just wanted the small little guy because I have another paper cutter, but I wanted this one for photos, ATCs, smaller projects. Makes sense. Smaller cutter, smaller projects. And I absolutely adore the guillotine style. 50% off, original price $9.99. I'll let you guys do the math. That's an easy one. It was a no-brainer, so I got it. With my 60% off coupon, I picked up glossy accents. A lot of people come into Michael's and they're looking for good adhesives and I was like, I'm right there with you. I'm always looking for that pers personal favorite adhesive. But I do turn a lot of people onto glossy accents because I absolutely love this product. Not only is it an adhesive, it is a dimensional medium, which is perfect. So even jewelry makers, I tell them to give this product a try as well. So for 60% off, can't beat that. And oh, this bottle will last you a long time. I had my last one for, geez, probably six months or a little bit over six months, and I finally um, am done with it. Also, uh, Project Life was on sale, 40% off. So I got the Fuse Projects, the 4x6 Fuse Project. Fuse, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Why do you guys watch me? <laughs> Fuse Pockets. I knew that you can get them at Tuesday morning, but also I didn't know till yesterday that I was actually gonna go to Tuesday morning and I didn't find any. So I'm kind of happy I got them at the 40 off. If you don't do Project Life, it's okay. Shaker pockets and there's tons of different things you can do with these. I'm actually gonna try to make a whole journal out of something like this. I don't know, I saw the idea on like one of those artsy fartsy type videos and it really inspired me. So we'll see where I take these little pockets long story for some project life pockets but they're fun now last video you probably don't remember because it was last joanne's video was probably way over two months ago i apologize but i haven't you know when you work at a craft store honestly the last thing you're looking forward to is going to another craft store i know that sounds weird uh, but I was able to find some of the Miss Sparkle and Company. I was terrified because they only had two little boxes on there, like the section boxes, and there was no room for the display to grow. So I was like, man, we're not going to get it. We did get in some more stuff. I still don't think we got it all, but it's okay because I found personally what I was looking for, which is the adhesives, of course. Now they do mark these just like our work does, as like your everyday deals, so no coupons. Not even the military one will take off of these anymore. But still $2 for that much of double-sided tape, okay. And I thought I would try their adhesive foam dots. I get lazy too. I usually have a roll of foam and I cut it to the size that I need. And these are just done. Just pop it on the page, peel back, you're good to go. So two different sizes. So those are the adhesives I got. And you're gonna notice a lot with my haul. I got a lot of adhesives. I'm good to go. The last thing you want is to be working on a project and you run out of that one thing you need. I found some of the stamps. I was so excited. 
and then I found out truly how big they are. You ever see something on video and you're like, wow, that is great. That is a pretty decent size. Now these are only three by five. So you can imagine how small the stamps truly are as well to fit on a little three by five card. I wanted these borders and now I'm not quite sure what I'm bordering because they're so itty bitty but I figured maybe like an ATC, so I grabbed them regardless of the size. The quality, I can't tell you, um, I haven't used them yet, but from what I understand from other people is that they are not bad at all. Ooh, let me get that glare out of there. It's super early, so the sun is not on the side of the house I need yet. Then I did get one of the planner sets. I believe they have like two or three. I can't remember how many stamp sets they pushed out. The only other one I could find was the flower one, and I just kind of left it there. Then these were bonuses, especially this texture one, because wow, I did not know this existed. So it's four and a half by six and a half, so perfect for layering photos and smaller projects and whatnot, but it is texture. The quality of the paper is not bad. It's not overly thick where you can't use it to decoupage, but it's not super thin where it's just gonna disintegrate on you so I grabbed that you get three of each of the designs there and then of course the one I was I couldn't wait I wanted this as soon as I saw someone show it again the same size the four and a half by six and a half and it's all different colors of the distressed wood and obviously with all the wood you're seeing everywhere and I'm sorry if you're hearing the jets in the background it is nine o'clock it's like a you know when it's 9 o'clock here, you know when it's 5 o'clock here, you know when it's later on in the evening because the jets let you know. There's like, they're timed. It's so funny. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this mini collective haul. I hope you guys have been finding some stuff as well. And as always, you know what's coming. Keep crafting.